The desire to be great, that is something that Dee Dee Richards has of Baylor. She's a defending national champion, and she was all ready to take on a role as a new point guard for the team this season. They started out their first practice when the unthinkable happened. I had a good morning, good breakfast. It was just, you know, a perfect day. Everyone kind of hates Saturdays because all we do is scrimmage, but I love Saturdays. Everything was going well. Like, the flow was good, the chemistry was good, we was all excited, and then in a split second that nobody thought was going to happen. Dee Dee and Moon laid motionless. Moon slowly got to her feet. Dee Dee, however, stayed down. She was not conscious. She was just motionless and trying to talk to her. Hey, Dee Dee, are you okay? Are you okay? What's going on? And no response at all. Dee Dee remained unconscious for over 90 seconds. When she finally came to, she could not move her legs. Dee Dee was rushed to the hospital to undergo a series of tests. That was one of my lowest points, was sitting in those scans because I, it gave me too much time to kind of think. What if I don't play basketball again? What if I can't walk again? What if I can't have kids? What if I'm in a wheelchair for the rest of my life was, you know, the biggest one. What's your goal? <laughs> to touch the wall and come back. This wall? OK. That's a good goal. That is a great goal. Want to go more? We'll do more. The best way to think about her injury is a shock to the spinal cord. The brain and the spinal cord are one system. We call it the central nervous system. So a shock to any of that can cause it all to stop working. See that wall? Just mm -hmm. watch the wall. From head down towards her tailbone, things begin to start waking up. It just took much longer for her legs to come back. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, she touched yeah. the wall. We see ACLs. We see ankle injuries, shoulder injuries. We see all of that in basketball, but paralysis is not something that you see. You got this, baby. You got this. My legs just felt like static, where something was crawling in them. Every time they would ask me, does it hurt? Is it hurting you? It's not like a hurt that's going to further injure me. It's just a, a weird feeling. You are just like the strong one and the, the happy one. And now all of a sudden, you're the vulnerable one. How were you able to allow yourself to be sad or allow yourself to be scared? To this day, I'm still, I'm still hurting. Because um, I don't think I let myself hurt you know i don't think i gave myself time to be sad in that situation other than um i'm sorry i can do this it still sits in my chest it's something that i can't you know get past but my motto growing up has always been don't let the person next to you define your fate I never saw her be tentative, hesitant. I think when she got on the floor, it was full go, full steam ahead. The time is right now, no standing still. Only one choice now, battle uphill. When you're down, your happiness is with your team. And if it's not, then baby, you need to go to a different team. What do you attribute Dee Dee's remarkable recovery to? No doubt about it, her work ethic. I think without that, she might have come back, but not in a way that she has. Egbo takes the pass, and here is Dee Dee Richards, and she gets the hoop. That girl changes the game. Dee Dee Richards, a great pass. She makes the rest of us so much better. Richards slices in, hits it, and celebrates. It was just like an exhale, like, I did it. I'm back. Dee Dee Richards is pure joy. And when you see her fly around on the court this March Madness, just know everything that she went through. And we all know Dee Dee Richards. She's one of, remember we would be there for her, when they won the national championship and Dee Dee would be in the room and she just has a smile that lights everything up and she's so energetic. To see her back on a court 38 days after not being able to walk, like words can't describe 
like the tears, like the emotions you feel to see something like that. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible, especially when you see the footage of some of the steps that it took for her to get there mm -hmm. and then to see what she and her team are able to do now. I mean, this is a player who's playing the point guard position for the first time in her career and excelling doing so. Second in the nation at seven assists per game. This is a really good Baylor team. Moon Erson doesn't get enough credit at 5'6", an incredible athlete. She's a terrific rebounder for them, hits the mid-range jumper. We talk a lot about an Alyssa Smith, deservedly so. She's one of the best players in the country, absolutely in the conversation for National Player of the Year. I like all of the pieces on this team, but of course it's going to start with your point guard, big point guard who can see, pass, score, defend. Who is being coached by a point guard, <laughs> you know, and, and that's one of the things. Uh, you, you have to go back in time to the early 80s when Kim Mulkey played. I've always felt like that her teams uh, represented her and how she played. Uh, you know, you're talking about someone that was really aggressive, wouldn't back down from anybody. This wasn't the biggest kid on the floor. She wasn't the quickest kid on the floor, but she might have been the most determined kid on the floor when she played, and that's what I see with her team, whether it's on the offensive end or the defensive end, offensive reboundings. This is a team that does, I mentioned a moment ago, a lot of things that a lot of teams don't like to do this team does it, mm -hmm. and that's what makes them successful. Yeah, a tough team, and they're coach tough, so that means when they, they hit a little bump in the road, like they don't flinch. They're not a flinching team, and Ken Mulkey has coached them to 17 straight NCAA tournament appearances, and they have four titles to their name. This is every single team.